Hey everyone, and these are my brand new micro brushes. I thought I'd do an open box video for you. So stick around and I'll do a little demo with these little babies. They're so tiny. I can't wait to show you. Let me tell you, if you're looking for a small brush, it's going to work really well for little hairs or really fine lines. I really like these ones. Hi, I'm Kelly Chassie. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I have new videos every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click that subscribe button, click the little bell, and you'll never miss one. I also have full monthly online classes and tutorials on my website at www.kellychassiefineart.com. And I do have over 10,000 students and over 15 years of experience teaching art classes. So if you have a chance, head over to my website and check them out. Hey everyone, I got in a bunch of things today. I'm gonna go over this one with you. This is um, by the artisan shop. Sorry for noisy. Let's see what we got. It goes in there. Oop, upside down. Artisan shop. And these are exciting. <laughs> They are micro series, so they're fi the finest Kalinsky Sable detail brushes. Uh, I have a lot of a lot of the brushes, but um, I'm always looking for that really fine brush, that really skinny one. Ooh, check those out! Aren't those neat? Ha! Ah, and they're supposed to be really good for gripping. They're organ, organ. What do you call that? Ergodynamic. <laughs> I can't. I can't say it. Ergonomically correct. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, so look, this one is an interesting one. This one is curved. Can you see that? Check that out. I should do it like this. Look at that. Can you see it? And it's so tiny. I mean, like wicked tiny. I don't know if it's gonna zoom in on it for you. No, nope, it's not zooming in. So we have that one. We have this one. Oh, it does say the sizes. Uh it's three slash zero round. This one is really close to that, aren't I? This one is a 10 slash zero. Oops, that one's really small. Really, really, really small. I can't wait to try these. This one, and I'll give you guys a close up too. And then there is a zero. Isn't that cool? The case is kind of cool. And then the last one is bigger, it's a number two. So there's all of them. This one intrigues me because this one you can, I don't know, hold it. Really. It's almost like you're like you're writing with it, I guess. Really fine, fine lines. You ever see that that guy that does um really mini paintings you have to actually look at with a microscope. Those are cool. Let's just see if I can find that and I'll attach it for you. Um, but he actually uses a brush the size of a fly hair <laughs> to do some of his work. I, can you imagine? I, I can't imagine. So let's see what these look like, shall we? I'm gonna dig out the watercolors here. And I'm going to test this. I want to get it wet first, but they are. There we go. They, they have that, whatever it is on them that they put on them before they ship out. There we go. So we've got that nice and wet and clean. And let's use some purple since I have it in my tray here. Got my little 
watercolor pad here I'm going to use. And I've spilled some water on it already. So I'm going to just start by pushing down. And then I'm going to pull up just to see how skinny I can make that. Pretty skinny. And then that's going sideways, flat, and as if I'm doing a wash. And I can make that smaller. Putting less, pushing, like putting less pressure on it. Oops, so if I get that, I have to get the real point of that. And I can get a nice small mark. So that's the biggest one, that's the size two. Let's try the next size down, which is the size zero. Pretty tiny. And it does have the stuff on it. I don't know what they put on there when they ship them out. So let's see how this one does. Well, that's as wide as that one gets. A little bit wider that way. And see, these are mostly going to be used for really small details. You can see that one gets a very fine line. It's got quite the point on there. Should have done that with that one. Go back and just show you just the point of this one. It's a little bit wider. This one does have a little hair that's sticking off onto the side. I don't know if that was there before or after. Oh, it went in. It went back in. That's okay. All right, and then you gotta be really careful with these though because they're so delicate. Um, this is the three slashes, three slash zero. It's not gonna hold a lot of paint. This one is really skinny, isn't it? While I'm doing this little mini brush here, I wanted to tell you I do have another test brush that I did back on the silver black velvet brushes with watercolors, which are absolutely wonderful. They're a really big full belly brush. So you can check out the video up here by clicking up on the right hand corner. So if you're working with hair or with dog's eyes or those really fine, fine lines, these are going to be pretty cool. I think fur is going to be really good to do. But you can do tall grass, things like that. It's going to work. Okay, it's that one. And the last one, the ergonomic one. They're so neat. I want to be really careful with this one because it just so tiny to get those brushes moving. And they're pretty, pretty stiff on, you know, down here. It's a lot stiffer that it doesn't have a whole lot of movement. So that's good. Some of those brushes will just bend over, bend over backwards, bend over backwards for you. Okay, so let's see. I'm not going to push on this one, but I'm going to hold it. Wow. So I can get a little thicker, but it's not going, not what they're meant for. It's meant for very fine, fine lines. It's not about too bad. So you can see that last one was really tiny. So see how small you can get that? If you do if you push down a little harder, you can get it a little thicker. But look at that. Mm. 
Oh, neat. So these are gonna be cool. I should be I should be uh doing a demo on some fur or something coming up with those. So there you have it. Let's see what see what I do with them. See ya. So thanks again for hanging out with me today. Make sure you click the like and share button and don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you never miss a new video coming up and we'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye-bye.